we should put that see something, say something campaign in uh, restrooms at restaurants. I think that's appropriate. <laughs> single person in this room has been into a restroom and you guys all look like clean nice people so we've all seen the same thing you're in there washing your hands because you care about germs and hygiene and in the mirror you see somebody come out of the stall and walk directly into the restaurant we've all seen it and we've never said a thing we just judge them in the mirror like look at this disgusting who raised you and if you guys are anything like me, you'll finish washing your hands and go into the restaurant and try to find that person. And you will always find that person. They're always eating nachos or some finger food with other people. And we don't say anything, we just go <laughs> And we immediately go to our table and point them out. Bro, 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 bro. See that dude right there? That dude in the blue shirt, he just pooped and didn't wash his hands. That's where it's appropriate. See something, say something. I don't know you guys, but I deputize all of you. The next time you see that behavior, say something. Those people don't deserve E. coli. Just tell them. Just walk over there. Hey, fellas, um, this is happy hour is about to change. I want to let you know that. This dude right here, yeah, Brad, he just pooped and didn't wash his hands. Enjoy the nachos, then go back to your table and watch the show. <laughs> I do it, man. I, I'm a see something, say something when it comes to hygiene. And that's where my first fight happened. I'm also the kind of person that like takes ownership of the stores in my neighborhood. I don't know if you guys are like that, but like the, like the Target in my neighborhood, that's my Target, that's my Costco. You know, that's my fill in the blank. Like, I'm that person. Like, what Costco are you guys going to? My Costco or the one on the other side? Ah, oh, okay, yeah. My Costco's better, just so you know. Like, <laughs> ownership. So, the, like, my first fight was in a Whole Foods. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> I'm just telling you true stories up here. Whole Foods, that's where my first fight was. All right, I'm in my Whole Foods, and I'm washing my hands. Right, and I see this guy come out of the stall and go right back in the store. And this is my Whole Foods. I do 80% of my produce shopping at this Whole Foods. I had a moment with myself in the mirror. I looked myself dead in the eye and I was like, not today, uh-uh. Not this Whole Foods. You, you wash your hands after you poop in this Whole Foods. I'm gonna go say something. So I finished washing my hands. Now I'm running around the store trying to find this guy. And like I've never, to this point, I've never been in a fight in my life. So I'm walking around the store with that nervous energy. I'm like, today might be the day, you know? I, I could get punched in the face today. That could happen today. And I was a little nervous, right? But then my second thought was a funny thought. I was like, oh, your first fight is gonna be organic, super organic. <laughs> When I found the guy, I finally found him, he was in the bulk section of the Whole Foods, pulling a chocolate-covered uh, uh, almond out of the bin bare hand, just, uh, is right. And I'm like, like, filling up with adrenaline, like I'm about to scrap in the bulk section of this Whole Foods. <laughs> and you guys look like an audience that's been to Whole Foods, you understand the ecosystem. <laughs> The ecosystem in Whole Foods is very chill. It's a very calm ecosystem in there, right? It's just vegans in there dying slowly. It's uh, hippies in there smelling terrible. And like, so it's chill, right? So as I approach the guy, I don't want to disrupt. So I, I throttled back and I tapped him on the shoulder. He turns around and I was like, hey man, you should go wash your hands. And he was like, huh? I was like, I was in the bathroom. You were pooping, you didn't wash your hands. Now you have an almond in your hand. That's pretty gross, dude. You should go wash your hands. And this guy says, you should mind your own business. And I said, no! <laughs> you should wash your hands when you poop in public, especially when you're in a grocery store where everyone has to deal with the food. That's common courtesy now at this point. Everyone in the bulk section of those Whole Foods has stopped their shopping. And they're now tuned in to what's happening over here. So like I said, the ecosystem is very calm normally. Now, there's a decent looking half black guy yelling at another guy about hygiene. It's a very tense situation. This guy looks me in the eyes and he goes, is this really happening? 
And I was like, yeah, bro, this is real life. <laughs> right at that moment, this lady comes out of the crowd and she goes, why are you yelling at my son? I said, because you're doing a terrible job as a mother, you know? <laughs> I had a crowd, so I had some confidence, you know? <laughs> I had to meet her at her energy, so. It's like, let me tell you what your son just did. He just pooped in that bathroom right there, did not wash his hands, came out here and dug his diarrhea fingers in these delicious <laughs> chocolate-covered almonds trying to affect all of us. You should have to buy the entire bin. Now, at that point, the little boy, he's like five or six. <laughs> He starts crying, okay? <laughs> Tears right down his face. His mom gets embarrassed and drags him away. And I continued my day shopping, right? <laughs> and all of the vegans and the hippies that were in that crowd would see me in the store and they would say nice things like, thank you, you're a hero, you saved us. And I felt good. And I love telling this story to audience just because it's a story with a moral. And the moral of that story is, you know, See something, say something. <laughs> Especially if it's a little kid that you know 100% can't beat you up, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> pick your battles. <laughs> you guys are fun. <laughs> half black and half Asian if you're trying to figure my face out, that's what's happening. <laughs> That's what this is. You know what it is, black and yellow, all that's happening up top. I like being mixed in America. I love being mixed in America because when you're mixed in America, you represent America. Like, you're the like you are the melting pot. Your culture's coming together, making an American. I love that. That's amazing. All right, I hate being mix mixed in America on the other hand because when people find out you're mixed, they feel like they're allowed to interview you right on the spot, okay? They find out you're mixed, now they hit you with whatever questions they've ever had about whatever ethnicities you are. And I'm saying people to be nice, okay? White people have all the questions. And the questions <laughs> fall, the questions fall into one of two categories, either random or racist. That's the only two categories. <laughs> one time this girl was like, Mal, you're black and Asian, I gotta ask you, don't you think it's kind of messed up how they treat panda bears at the zoo? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I didn't say I was part bear. I don't get that <laughs> question. <laughs> Racist questions. I'm at lunch with a friend one time. He goes, Mal, what's in Kung Pao chicken? I was like, I'm not a chef, bro. Like, why would I know that? He goes, well, you're half Asian and black people love chicken. What's in it? I was like, <laughs> I was like dude, we're at Panda Express. Why don't you ask the Mexicans? <laughs> No. <laughs> the most common there, the most common, the most annoying question I get on a daily basis. It's the most common question. Which parent is black and which parent is Asian? What does it matter? I'm here, okay? <laughs> I made it. You guys are a good audience because you laughed. You heard that question out loud. You could hear how ridiculous that is. <laughs> but that's the most common question I get. People ask all the time. I hate that question. It's my least favorite question. Whenever I get that question, like I've come up with a sarcastic answer for whenever I get that question. This guy asked me one time, I hit him with the answer. I go, um, my mom's half black and half Asian and my dad's half black and half Asian. <laughs> and I just watched him freak out. <laughs> this guy was an idiot. He goes, what about your mom's parents? I'm like, what, dude? <laughs> Grandma is half black and half Asian. <laughs> and grandpa is half black and half Asian. You guys are good. <laughs> you guys are good. I could see there's a couple of you though that are not laughing. I could see your faces from up here. There's a couple, I'm not gonna point you out, and I'm not here to embarrass people, but I could see you. There are people in the crowd right now, their whole vibe right now is like, for real though, which parent's black? You're gonna tell us or? You brought it up, we do wanna know. 
<laughs> I'll tell you guys, because you're nice, I'll tell you guys. <laughs>